Hey guys, Lance here. Uh, I'm making a video today to help those of you who are getting uh, into uh, JSON and Android uh, development. Um, as you know, most of the time you need uh, JSON for most of the APIs that you're going to be using out there. Rarely are you going to see like XML, but uh, I mean, you might. But right now we're just going to discuss about how doing uh, basically objects with an objects and arrays with an arrays and arrays with objects, etc., etc. Um, I think the terminology is multi-dimensional array. Don't quote me on that. I'm not a huge uh, Android developer. Uh, learning as I'm going, which is kind of the reason I'm making this video, to kind of show everybody the basically where I was and where I was trying to be and where I finally got, if that makes any sense. Because um, it was kind of difficult for me to get a true answer for being a complete novice in Android development and how to get the answer that I did, and kind of was on the stake. Um, but I couldn't find really websites that explained it easy enough as a new developer to Android uh, the way I needed it. So my method may not be the best, the quickest, or the smoothest, but nonetheless, uh, it got the job done for me. So hopefully you guys will feel the same, and it's useful to you. And um, yeah, anyways, let's just jump into... Uh, uh, doing that, so you're gonna stop seeing my uh, mug for a bit, and uh, yeah, we'll just focus in Android Studio. I'm probably gonna cover a few things that most of you already know, like adding buttons and text views and uh, having the strings not be hard coded, uh, constraints on it, and other minor things that I'm sure most of you already know. But nonetheless, let's uh, just jump right into it and uh, get this going. All right. All right, guys, as you see here, we have our project. We have our basic uh, text results that we'll have uh, from the parse from JSON. And then we have our button here that will actually perform the action of parsing once we click on it. Um, as you see here, it's saying I have a hard-coded uh, string. Of course, you can put that in your strings, uh, but we're not going to bother doing that. So let's get into this, right? So let's go ahead and uh, do what we need to do first here, OK? So first things first, let's do private um, text view, and then we need, um, let's see, our text results, All right? We're going to need that. And so let's be happy with that. OK, now let's go down here. Let's do text results, and equals uh, View, oops. Text view, as so, and then find part of uh, text results, as so. And now we're going to need to do a button as well. So, button, let's say, uh, button parse, for instance, and then button, like so, and then find. So, our parse button, right? So now we need to have it do an action, right? So let's call our button parse, that's set on click listener, and then new, and then view, oops, view, on click listener, right? Which is what we need, and that looks good. Has our override, so then let's uh, go ahead and we'll make a function called like parsing. Okay? So, we're good there. Obviously, it's got an error because we don't have anything. So let's go and make something, shall we? And then uh, this is where you know the magic will happen, basically. So let's do a private void, and then parser should pop up. Like so okay. Now let's make our string file for our JSON, and I have my JSON in Notepad that we're going to use here. So I'm going to copy that real quick for you guys. And you can use mine or not or whatever, but this gives you an example of what we're trying to do here. Uh, so as you see, uh, it's multidimensional. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and do our JSON, oops, JSON uh, object, right? And then we'll call it J, uh, what's, I don't know. Uh, let's just call it J uh, OBJ. Right? No. Okay. 
Um, and then try, and then j j, and then we'll do a new JSON object, and then uh, JSON. We want to use our JSON file or string rather, right? And so, and then let's go ahead and do an array, and so, and then array like that, and then uh, j. Oops. Object like that. Let's do an array as well. I don't know why it's being rude and it doesn't want me to do that. But let's see. Result. There should be no problem here. Uh, just an object. There should be zero. Uh, and then we're going to do get JSON array again because we want a prediction. I don't know why it's doing that in there. Give me this unhandled. Oh, got it right. Okay, um, and then let's do a four, like so. Four and int i equals zero, like so. And i greater than ten, like so. Plus, plus, like so, and then we're going to do a label, string label, and then we're going to do an array, get JSON object, right, and we want uh, i, because that's the index, and then let's get the string of uh, label, okay, and now let's do a string, Oops, string, uh, for val, and let's just do uh, an array again. Get JSON object, or the same index, because I want to get uh, get string right. And then uh, this we're looking for probability, All right? Okay. And then we're gonna do a float real quick, which we're then gonna have to convert it. Um, let's do a float. Uh, I love. And that's going to be an array, and that's going to be a get JSON object, and then the index, of course, and then uh, get string, right? And then we want probability. And let's finish her off like so. I think that looks good, right? Get JSON object, I get string. Yeah, it looks right. Alright, so then let's do an if statement real quick. If value, uh, equal to, let's say 0 0.42, just for this demo, of course. Not what we would really do, but let's do text results, set a pin, and let's go ahead and do label plus val uh, plus. All right, okay, that looks good. Just for, again, shits and giggles to get that done. Uh, we're gonna need to do a catch, All right? And then just a little exception, E, oops, E like that. Like that, and E print set trace, All right? So overall, that looks like it should be good. Um, Go ahead and run this guy in our and let's see if we get any errors. Alright, so if all works when we hit JSON parse, we should have something here within the value uh, that it detected uh, down here. Greater or equal to 0 0.42. Let's see. And we do acne, right? With a percentage of uh, 0 0.87 probability rate. So that means very good chance you have acne. But um, nonetheless, anyways guys, uh, that's my demo. Uh, hopefully this was useful to some of you out there, uh, as I needed this very badly before. But uh, hopefully that um, helps you understand that. And uh, if this was interesting enough, uh, please comment, share. Let me know if you have a different way of doing something. Uh, very interested, of course. Uh, but nonetheless, this is Lance, and hopefully uh, this demo was good for you. All right.